that have power to hurt and will do none, that do not do the thing they most do show, who moving others are themselves as stone, unmoved, cold, and to temptation slow, they rightly do inherit heaven's graces and husband nature's riches from expense. They are the lords and owners of their faces, others but stewards of their excellence. The summer's flower is to the summer sweet, though to itself it only live and die. But if that flower with base infection meet, the basest weed outbraves his dignity. For sweetest things turn sourest by their deeds. Lilies that fester smell far worse than weeds. Right, so you know how some people are so beautiful that they could quite easily break your heart, but they choose not to. They are dead sexy, but they keep it in their pants. They really do deserve the beauty that nature gave them. It isn't wasted on them. They truly own their loveliness. Plebs like me, we just get to appreciate it. Do you know what I mean? Right, um, hang on, let, let me try a metaphor. Uh, right, so a cup of tea. Mm. Mm. Uh, what else have I got? Oh, okay. So, pogs are... Pogs? What is this, the 90s? Ooh, shiny slammer. Keeping that for later. Um, right. This theatrephonic pin badge is irrelevant, I suppose. But it is a really good radio play podcast, so, um, yeah. Maybe you should check it out. Uh, let's see. We all admire beautiful flowers, don't we? But the flower just knows it's a flower. It just exists, it lives, it dies. It doesn't know how beautiful other people find it. But if it gets rotten, the most disgusting weed can look more beautiful. So, beautiful things can seem ugly by their actions. Rotten lilies stink. Do you get me? You're the flower. Don't be a dick. Pogs? What is this, the 90s? Ooh, shiny slammer. Keeping that for later.